Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we're going to do an unboxing. And so I'm really excited, so let's get started. So like I said, today we're gonna do an unboxing. Um, I finally bought a diaper bag, or a few. I might have gotten carried away. Um, I bought these diaper bags from Itsy Ritzy. I will tag them down below. You might have heard of them, you might not have. Um, but I bought these diaper bags from Itsy Ritzy. And so they came in two boxes. They came in two boxes. They came poorly packaged in these two boxes. The boxes are falling apart. Um, the tape is falling apart. Um, so, you know, not the best first impression for these bags that are not cheap. They are not cheap. Um, so... So not the best first impression. I was really excited to get them. Um, I bought them during their like warehouse sale or whatever. So I did get them at a discount. Um, and I am hoping that all the items are in here. Because like I said, these boxes are falling apart. <laughs> so I don't even, I really didn't even need this because tape was not on it. Um, Itsy Ritzy does more than just shopping, than just diaper bags, pump bags, and they like, they also do toys and other things, but I was just in the market for a diaper bag, um, and stuff. So, let's get started. So, they are a, definitely a no must, no fuss, um, packaging company, um, which is fine, don't need it all. But it's just interesting <laughs> for because it's like I guess I guess it's when you spend a lot of money, um, you kind of just expect a higher or when your products are not cheap, you expect a higher quality of presentation um, for your items. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> So, unfortunately for me, for as you might know, the purple queen that I am, nothing really came in purple. Um, so that made me really sad. Um, and I kept waiting, you know, they came out with like, like, with like a spring colors, or I was even looking at cow pack, because they came out with spring colors, but nothing was purple. Um, for people who have like non-leather, leather things. I really wanted a purple diaper bag. Let me put it this way. Anyway. Um, so to start off, I've got my iPad over here so I can, I can, um, give you some specs. This is the insulated bottle cooler, um, to start off. This one I got, um, because it's literally the only purple item. And so, which was, so I'm just wondering if I just missed when they had purple items, if I wasn't shopping for things when they had purple items or what. But this is the in, the Chill Like a Boss bottle bag. Um, and so it this this one in purple is now sold out. Um, I got this for either 19, $19, I wanna say, um, while it was on sale. So this was actually the least expensive thing I bought and $19, I can definitely, I could spend that. Um, I'm not sure if it's something I needed, <laughs> but it was purgeable. I'm trying to tell you how much I did spend on this. Eighteen ninety at when it was on sale. When it was on the extra sale, so eighteen ninety. Okay. Um. So let's open it up a little bit more. They say this thing holds three bottles. It can hold three bottles in here, and it can hold tall ones. So it's literally just an insulated bottle bag. Um, it can keep them cold or keep them warm or whatever you're doing. Um, I still feel like an ice pack would probably be in your best interest for this. Um, yeah, I was like, it's a, it has an interior pocket here for an ice pack. 
here. So it was just really cute. Um, it was affordable. Um, it was purple. But, and it's got this little snap. So nothing too crazy, just something easy. <laughs> A bottle bag. Next up, I'm excited for this one. This is something I probably definitely did not need with as many bags as I own. This thing is massive. I don't know how big I thought this was going to be, but this thing is massive. Like, that's a full stretch. Um, this is The Weekender. I'm done. This is a hospital and travel bag. Um, all right, I was trying to see if it had like a perforated spot that I could easily open this on. Um, it's originally $199.99. Um, let's see, I got it for $99.90. So, <laughs> got it on sale. See, this is the spot I was looking for. Y'all are just gonna watch me rip this and see. Okay. So this bag is supposed to be, it could be like your hospital overnight bag that you can pack up. Um, but of course you can also travel with it. Um, other than going to the hospital, you can just travel with it as a tote bag. Um, it's got these wipeable sides. Um, so like starting from the back, it, of course if you're like traveling, you can put this through your suitcase. Um, so you've got your suitcase thing. It is soft sided so it's easily squished, squished in. Um, you've got bottle or water bottle holders on each side that expand. So these are actually really great. They're big too, they're deep. So that's, that's really nice actually. Um, because I feel like half the time, you know, if you get a water bottle holder, it doesn't fit all water bottles. Like, that feels like that'll fit my, um, my brewmate. Here, I'll show you. Because it's right here. And so this is, like, the big, the 40-ounce brewmate. Um, so think of, like, your Stanley, your Hydro Flask. And, of course, this does have a handle, though. And, honestly, the whole handle fits in very nicely. So... I like that. I'm trying to be. Um, let's see. So pocket, pocket. You've got your exterior pocket here. You've got your exterior pocket here. Um, on the inside, you've got like the key, your key holder. And you've got these clear, no, they're not clear, sorry. Just like a slide in place here. The slide in place, you can also put your phone or small objects. And this is a really good size. You could definitely fit an iPad in there with ease um, or any sort of tablet. I don't know if they consider that part of the six exterior pockets or what. Um, and they say you've got six interior pockets too. There we go. Um, so big, big interior. You see how big this, this bag is. Honestly, it's like the size of a carry-on suitcase. Um, you've got the zippered compartment back here. Um, Definitely fit paperwork. Um, I don't. I wouldn't put a laptop in that compartment in the back one, um, but you can definitely put items in there. Obviously not. You've got these. Oh, I'm trying to. There we go. Because it's soft sided, it's hard to like. But you've got just more slide in pockets. You can slide things in. You've got this. Um, You've got pockets on the side that kind of feels like a water bottle pocket. Um, they're scent, so you could probably put, you know, bottles, anything like that in there. 
And then you've got this massive other interior pocket here that you can fit clothes into. This would be great with some packing cubes, um, just extra, extra things to help organize in there. And then, of course, on the bottom, you've got this area where you can put your shoes. This is a good, this is where you would put your shoes, shoe area, um, to keep away from your clothes and other objects. So this, this is nice. I mean, it's, it's massive, it is massive. You've got handles and then you've also got a crossbody um, strap here as well. That thing is massive. Like, I don't know how, how, how many times I can express that thing. Like when I say it feels like the size of a carry-on suitcase, I mean it. So could you imagine traveling with that and a carry-on suitcase? You'd be set. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss anything telling you about it. But I definitely think packing cubes um, are in your best option or some sort of, of smaller bags to put in there if you're trying to use it as like a long weekend diaper bag, a long weekend bag for you. I think that would definitely be in your, in your best interest or things are just gonna be floating around in there. What do we have up next? So basically what happened was I started going down the Navy collection um, and then I kept going down the Navy collection because um, overall I'm even though I'm having a girl I'm not really a pink girly um, just I'm not a pink girly as you know I'm a purple girly okay the dream convertible diaper bag is what's up next um, I will tell you how much it is. If it'll let me click it. Okay. Dream. Convertible diaper bag. Um, so it is normally $169.99. I got it for $79.90. So once again, saved about another hundred bucks. Um, but anyway, so the diaper bag, it's a backpack diaper bag. So I like backpacks. So this, so having a backpack style diaper bag, something I already knew I wanted in the future. Cause I like backpacks. I like being hands-free. I like just being able to, you know, to take it and go and to put all your, put all your weight on both shoulders versus one, um, just even weight distribution. Um, it comes with a changing pad as well. It has 14 total pockets, eight external, six internal. There's a laptop pocket. And of course, easy access to all your essentials. But you can also convert it, of course, from a backpack, which is why it's convertible, to just a handbag or to a tote overhand. And then this also has the spot, um, has the spot in the back for traveling, for putting through your suitcase. I'm not unzipping it, but you can put this through your suitcase so it sits on top. Um, I said it has these pockets. These pockets aren't as wide as the um, the other one, the Weekender. Um, so this one would definitely would not fit my roommate. Um, it would probably fit like the size of a smart water, smart water bottle. Um, you also have these straps that are for your stroller straps. So you have these too. So you can just take it and hook it on to your stroller. Um, hook it onto your stroller and let it hang from the back of your stroller as well um, if, when you're, you're using one of those. Um, the back side here is where you have your changing pad um, that comes with it, that matches. All the itsy ritzy bags have these special bottoms 
that they call their like stay clean bottoms that help them stand up um, so they don't tip over um, from there. So that's kind of like their signature thing. Um, I guess you could, if you're not using it for your luggage, you could easily just use this as a little slide in pocket because it zips on the bottom. Um, on the front, on your front you have just another little zipper compartment. Put your quick things, put some snacks. And another one up top. Um, you know, your extra passies or whatever. Keys, things for you, hand sanitizer, cleaner. Um, on the inside of the bag is your convertible strap, so you can use it as a tote, like I was saying. You've got your laptop sleeve on this side, kind of on the back side, near your back. Um, here. You've got an airy mesh part. Can you see that? You've got your airy mesh part. This is mesh right here that unzips. Um, there. And then you've got the same like cinch down pockets. This is hard to open to show you. You've got your same like cinch down pockets <laughs> on the inside as well. Um, that can hold bottles, diapers on the side. Um, probably a thing, a thing of wipes as well. <sighs> All that good stuff. So I do like a good backpack. To make sure I'm not missing any stripes and I do like that it's not a rigid backpack and so it just allows you more flexibility especially getting in places getting in the car if you're thinking about traveling with it you know getting it underneath the seat in front of you um, you know that actually <laughs> makes me think like can I put this underneath a seat in front of me so that makes me think I don't know. I'm, I would really have to put it up next to one of my backpacks that I that I normally travel with and be like, are you the same size or different? Like for the weekender, like could you could you put it could you carry a carry on and put it in the overhead compartment and then have that and put it underneath the seat in front of you? I don't know the answer. Maybe one of y'all do. <laughs> It says insulated pockets for bottles, but insulated seems like we're over, we're not using that word correctly. Um, because I, I don't feel like it would keep your bottles cool or warm. I don't feel like it would keep them cool without an ice pack. Like, like there might be pockets for bottles in there, but I'm not giving it to keep your stuff cool. Um, <laughs> Uh, it, they just have fabric that is easily cleanable and has that like lunchbox feel. Um, da, 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 da. So yeah, so yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know if I would consider this, consider the these pockets in here, insulated. Like they're they're deep. They can definitely hold up bottles and diapers. And stuff they're deep but I don't, I don't insulated just doesn't seem like the correct word to use in this situation I don't know I could be wrong anyway so here is the second box like I said once again came poorly packaged um, and once again like I said their products are expensive um, to the point where I feel like I like the tape is not even really connected to where I feel like and this should be packaged better like we put more emphasis on small businesses to have prettier packaging um, than than this let's see so this is the last blue thing the dream backpack another backpack of course 
if, if I was going to get however many, however many diaper bags I wanted to try out, um, I was going to, I was going to only get backpacks, so sorry. If I ever use it as a tote, that's one thing, but I was only going to get backpacks. And then, like, I couldn't decide what size would be the best. This is our first kit. I couldn't decide what size would be the best. I'm already an overpacker. I already, like, in my normal life, like, for things. So I just felt like it was difficult for me to decide. And I really didn't want to miss up on a sale um, for them because it was something I had been looking at. Um, but this one is smaller than the other two, you know, so quick quick things um quick things I felt like this was this was a good good very much a good everyday bag um everyday diaper bag and all that kind of stuff so that's that that's what I like like about this um do, 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 do. that is not what I clicked So this is the Dream Backpack Diaper Bag and Pump Bag. Um, um, so I got this because I would like to try pumping. Um, I am a working mom and will be going back to work after maternity leave is over um and so you know in America that's six weeks <laughs> so you know and I will be trying to pump after maternity leave is over um and I already have a work bag that I will definitely continue to use for work but then I was like, if I'm going to pump, like I'm going to need something to put pump essentials in. Now, it says online it fits the top three most used breast pumps. I don't know what that means. It doesn't say what the top three most used breast pumps are on their list because like, what does that mean? There are a lot of breast pumps out there. So I definitely need some more, more clarification on that. Um... So this has got 14 total pockets, 17 exterior, 17 interior. Um, I will say the water bottle pockets are getting smaller. The bottle pockets on the side are definitely getting smaller. Um, can't really fit anything in that. Um, you know, not 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 really. Can't really fit anything in that. Not not a true water bottle like your like your Stanley Brewmate Hydro Flask. I'm not even sure you could fit a smart water bottle in this. Um, you know, cause those are tall and skinny. Um, so the water bottle pockets are definitely getting smaller, the smaller the bags go. So that kind of is sad. I really liked the cinch, the big cinched pockets on the weekender for that. Um, cause you know, if you're pumping, you gotta stay hydrated. Please stay hydrated. Anyway, so as far as pockets on the outside, I'm pretty, they probably consider this a pocket. Um. I'm not going to count them. They probably consider this a pocket. It's in between this cinched pocket and this other zippered pocket. And then you've got a zippered pocket here in the front. Um, once again, you can put your keys in there, put something, something linked in there. You've got another place that you can put your phone. Oop. Put your phone if you'd like. And this pocket, I don't know, snacks, good for snacks. I haven't thought about how I'm going to pack any of these bags. Um, because I'm still overwhelmed with trying to obtain items because we're new parents. We have nothing, zero things, <laughs> other than the furniture you see in the room. <laughs> There's not even a mattress in there. Um, anyway, you've got this cinch, this cinched pocket, this pocket space um, for you to put. I don't, I don't know what we're cinching. I guess I'll find out as I start to pack these things um, up and figure out what I deem as important. Ooh. So this zips almost like like flat, like almost all the way down. Um, oops, oops, um, um, so it almost opens completely flat. 
Um, so I feel like this would definitely fit some, some, a lot of different pumps. Um, definitely I, is what I feel like. Um, it's got a laptop sleeve as far as your laptop. Um, it feels like a 13 inch laptop would fit here. Um, maybe a little snug if it has a case on it, but an iPad would definitely fit here. Here, I don't have my laptop next to me to put it in here or try, um, but definitely something something techno, tech, techie could fit in there. Um, you've got these mesh air pockets. Um, I don't, so I guess for thing, things that should dry, dry out, be in the air, you've got these mesh pockets. And then once again, you have the, you have like all the bags have these cinched compartment areas in here. So you could use this as a diaper bag or as your pump bag, um, or as your pump bag, I guess with my intention, my intention is for um, pumping. So I guess, you know, good spot for ice packs, for ice packs, um, you know, little baggies for your breast milk or anything like that, and then your pumps and can fit here like that. Let's see what the insert says. Oh, on the back, you still do have your changing pad that comes with it. Still have a changing pad that comes with it. You have stroller straps that you can hook on your stroller like before. Um, this one does not have the insert for travel. Um, so no insert for travel on that one. And let's see what the card says. Mom pocket, zippered mom pocket for wallet keys and more. That's what that zippered pocket is. Um, ooh, hungry. Two insulated pockets, keep bottles fresh. Um, still has that base, has the changing pad, the stroller straps. We already saw the elastic key clasp. And so basically the same thing, just smaller. So we started off really big and then we just got smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, but I knew I needed something for pump bags. Let me see, I can tell you how much it is normally. They do all come in different colors other than blue. Um, this bag is normally $149.99. Like I said, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. And I got it for $59. So this is why I bought things when they were on sale. And I wasn't just going to wait to do it. Also, I used like PayPal pay in for. Like, like don't, don't be out here thinking I made money because I'm not. So, but for the final thing... This is the bag that got me on Itsy Ritzy's website. As they say, as they said, it made them TikTok famous or whatever um, because it is a beautiful bag, at least in the pictures. It is a beautiful bag. And that is what got me to the Itsy Ritzy website in the first place um, to look at what the other bags that they have. Do, do, do. Ooh, time for me to eat. So, this is the Boss Plus Large Diaper Bag. And I got mine in cognac. Yes, I got mine in cognac. I was like, is that what I got? Um... They say this is their most organized large capacity bag yet. Sorry, cut off limits. Um, they say this is their most organized bag yet. They say it has 19 total pockets. Um, you know, some of their pockets are always still a little questionable. Um, <laughs> but um, this one definitely has pockets. And it's just a beautiful bag. Let me see. What is it considered? It is vegan leather, for those of you are wondering. It is vegan leather, because um, I know some people are wondering if it's leather, vegan leather, pleather, poly, whatever. Um, and this laptop does have a laptop pocket in it that says it fits up to 15 inches. Um, so, let's break it down. 
So of course the bottom has that, that stand up, no slide, keep it up spot with their logo on it, itsy ritzy. Um, these pockets are larger and they call them insulated pockets. And when you look inside, it actually has that like insulated material in it. And so that does seem a little bit better. It is for more so for baby bottles than for mommy bottles. Uh, but, ooh, but my roommate does fit in there, um, even with the handle, even with the handle on this water bottle roommate. Um, with the straw so that does fit in there so that's good and then of course if you have you know if you're bottle feeding or if you have a bottle that you're using at the time it you can have it there's two so you've got the other side um versus you know like it ha i guess like these have this this like inner lining i just like, I feel like that's like calling your lunchbox insulated, but let's be honest, your lunchbox doesn't stay cool without an ice pack. Like, you know? Anyway. Um, beautiful straps. They're padded. They are padded. All the straps felt very comfortable in all the bags. So, um, when you're, they're padded, so they feel like they won't dig into you. This one does come with a changing pad like the rest of them. Ooh, does come with a changing pad like the rest of them. Oh, that's a cute inside. Hopefully that's on the inside and the inside. The other one too. Anyway. So you always have something to put down on the go. Which means I can take changing pads off my registry. <laughs> um, got this little tassel keychain. It says you are doing a great job. Um, it's kind of big. It's just really big. <laughs> Um, so look at there. What's this? Oh, you've got a um, bag cover because it is vegan leather. Um, so on the inside, you have this full pocket. It is a nice big pocket. This is definitely your mommy pocket um, to fit all your stuff in keys, hand sanitizer, snacks. Um, chapstick, money, lip gloss, phone, um, but this is definitely where, where some of those pockets come in, um, to play, and you can see those here. Um, you've got this next top pocket, it actually goes, it seems like it should be shallow, but it actually goes the distance of the bag. Um, so that's, that's a good one. Um, I would, I wouldn't even know what to call that pocket. Um, ooh, I didn't even know what to call that pocket. It's definitely, I don't know, like that'd be a good one for, you know, burp cloths, extra clothes, you know, maybe, you know, if you're, if you're breastfeeding and you like to use, you like to use cover-ups or shawls in public, if that's something you like to do, you could put those in here, just someplace where it's easy to get to, but, you know, things that, I feel like it would be best if things that could lay flat or that could go flat and then just not give you that extra bulge or push up in between this pocket and this pocket, in between this pocket and this pocket, because as you can see, there's not really that much growth space to go forward. Um, okay. So a song with top pocket. Um, oh, it's a glasses pocket. So you can put your sunglasses, glasses, anything like that up there. That's what that's for, right behind the handle. Cool. Okay, hey, nails back there. Okay, so then we open up the main compartment. This one once again um, zips like like all the way down, so that's lovely. Um, and then it basically opens up to the opens up flat or opens up long ways um, as well. Um, so you've got those mesh pockets like you do in the other bags for anything that needs to be aired or aired out. those I'm loving I'm loving the interior of this with these sunshines and just the cool camel cognac color I love it I'm loving the color of it Take that out 
Um, and then, yeah, you've got a lot of pockets on the inside. So let me flip you. Yeah. <laughs> um, you've got this divider here. Um, so you can, so when you do open it up, sorry, you've got this divider here. So when you do open it up, anything you have sitting here won't just like fall forward or fall out unless it slips underneath. Um, this is removable if you need that extra space, but that is, that is a good feature, a good touch. Um, you've got, once again, these, these pockets, diapers, wipes, um, bib, burp cloths, onesies, any of these types of things, anything you're ready to pack in a bag. You've got some little baby ones, some small ones right up here. Um, that's like a great pacifier holder. Um, on one side, you have the closed in pockets. And then on the other side, you've got actually a mesh version, um, which because of the color scheme, it blends in so well. But you've got a mesh version on this side of both that little baby pocket and then a deeper one. Um, and then you've got your, you've got this pocket back here. Um, that's pretty short. It actually only goes to the top of this pocket. Um, there. Um, I guess this, maybe this pocket is considered your laptop sleeve. Um, it would just kind of be there. I don't know. If you were trying to pack your laptop in here along with all of your baby stuff for travel. Um, as far as, as... It doesn't have the the sleeve in the back for your suitcase. Um, I don't know if that's something that matters to you or not. It doesn't have the sleeve in the back for your suitcase. Um, it does still have stroller straps um, connected to it, um, which of course you can always take off. You can take off the stroller straps, of course, since I would keep them in your bag or you know on your bag, but probably put them in one of the pockets just so you have them. So that way if you are a stroller strap person and you want to put them on your stroller, you have them and they don't get lost. Um, but this is honestly the bag that got me looking at Itsy Bitsy and it is a beautiful bag. Um, so I cannot wait to figure out how to pack my bags um, or which bags I want to use. Um, you know, I already said I'll definitely use the pump bag, probably for work. I like that it's an easy clean off, an easy wipe off. Um, an easy clean off and an easy wipe off. Let's see. Let me tell you. Well, anyway, so, so it is beautiful. Um, I will probably use the Weekender for my hospital bag. That'll probably be the bag that I pack um for me for this day other than my like normal old school sports duffel bags or my old school vera bradley um i'll probably pack that for me i like the pump bag and then i feel i feel like these two though are gonna duke it out for like primary bag the um the i'm trying to get the names right the boss plus and the dream convertible backpack. Um, so I feel like these two are going are going to going to duke it out um, for primary for primary bag. Um, I just I do love how this lays flat. Um, you know this one is still more of a tote style, even though it is a backpack style. It's still more of a tote to like pack it up. Um, but I just feel like they're gonna duke it out for primary bag. Oh, this bag is $189.99 regularly, and I got it for $129.90. So, whew, what to say? So, I definitely spent a lot on all of these bags, and you know what? They still didn't give me free shipping. Um, because I guess because they already had a sale, they still didn't do free shipping. Granted, shipping was $10, but it's just like, come on. Anyway. <laughs> um, so I spent a lot, but I got a whole set, a whole collection of one. And I got the main one I wanted. And then just something cute and purple, um, which would be good, you know, for for taking to my mom's or daycare or just something cute. And it was just purple and it was the cheapest thing on there. Um, <laughs> um, so I am excited to try these out. I'm excited to start packing them. We are getting 
getting closer to that point to start thinking about having made diaper bags and getting those ready. So I am excited. I'm excited. Um, so if you have an itsy ritzy bag, let me know what you think about them. Um, let me know, or if you don't, let me know if you're considering one or why you're considering or what you're considering one. Um, let me know how you pack a diaper bag. Guys, literally first time mom. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be a lot of trial and error for me. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. I know this video was long. It's a lot. It's a lot of information. I'm sorry. Um, but maybe in the future I'll do a comparison review or how I'm using it. Um, how I'm using whatever bag once I'm using it. So that is it for me guys. Don't forget to hit that like button down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to follow me on the socials, I suppose. And, and until next time, keep turning the pages.